Welcome to the video bulletin of number 24. I'm Charmaine. And I'm Diana. And may we wish you a very happy turkey day coming up. Today we'll cover some of the following topics. Cocoa and Crown, the canned food drive, and more. Mrs. Haston wants everyone to know that Avid is still selling community discount cards for the Hacienda Heights area. If you're interested in purchasing a $10 card, stop by G6. Now let's take a look at Cocoa and Crown. I'm Azalia, and we're here at Coco and Crown with Link Leader, Tiffany Wu, and Little Freshman, Chris Thomas. Okay, so how do you think this turned out? Um, so far it's going pretty well. We have um, a big turnout. There's a lot of freshmen are coming, and we also have um, some of the teachers that volunteer to help. So that's cool. That's cool. And what subjects do they teach in there for you guys? Uh, right now I'm taking math and science, and I'm taking a little Spanish because I need help on them. Do they really help you? Do they give you support? Yeah, they do. It's really, really helpful for us. That's cool. When will you guys be having another event like this? Well, we're, this is our first one this semester, and we'll have um, another one for the next semester. Well, are you going to be coming to all of them? Most likely, yeah, because I really need help on those subjects. Oh, well, that's cool. That's really great. All right, you guys. Thanks. So is this uh, fun for you guys to do? Yeah, it is. It's fun to help out the freshmen. Yeah, we just all hang out and just help freshmen out, so it's pretty fun. Do you think the freshmen enjoy this? Yeah, I think they really appreciate the help. Yeah, I think they do. We had a pretty good turnout yesterday and today, so I think they're enjoying it. Yeah. All right, so what's your name? My name is Andrew. All right, so Andrew, tell me how you feel about this cocoa cram. I'm learning. What are you What are you learning right now? Like, what are the basics you're learning right now? I'm learning about my biology. Biology. Who's your tutor? Christopher Chin. Oh, are you gonna come back to this? Yes, I am. All right. Thanks. Bye. Hi, Hi welcome, welcome to Listening. Listening. I'm Michelle. And I'm Joseph. Uh, we're doing pro um, programs called Dreams, Bundle of Dreams and Blanket for Buddies. Blood Gift for Buddies is an organization that helps out homeless animals in animal shelters and they can be helped by you donating your old, used, or new blanket or towel. Bundle of Dreams is a program mm -hmm. where you donate sleeping bags for the homeless and providing them a warm place to sleep in the winter as a nice gift holder. These, pro these programs start from November 24 to December 19. You can leave your donations in the boxes next to Miss Van Gordon's room. Room C10A, across from our room. We use old blankets and towels for rags, or just throw them away. But did you know the animal shelters need them? I saw in my community newspaper that the local shelter needed blankets and towels during the winter months. So I went down there and I took with me a couple bags. The minute I got there, the kennel supervisor came running at me and thanked me and just took them directly to the kennel. What I saw broke my heart. The dogs in the kennel, they were just huddled together trying to keep warm. They were shaking and cold. The animal shelters used the blankets and towels all year long, not only for comfort and warmth, but also, we use the blankets and towels everywhere. We use them in vet services for our spay and neuter days. They're used in our isolation ward uh, for animals that come in injured or sick, and our foster program for uh, little ones that come in without mom, and for bathing as well, the towels for drying off. I'm Gabe, and I'm here in the Dave Merrill Stadium with the one and only Dave Merrill. Come here, my man. I got a couple questions for you. How do you feel about the, day, the stadium being named after you? Actually, it was dedicated after you, but uh, that's okay. Uh, it's a great honor, and I'm thrilled. There are uh, 42 high schools in East, East San Gabriel Valley, and to have one named after me is obviously a great honor, and I appreciate everybody that took part in the ceremonies. Thank you very much. Hey, Mel, what are your contributions to the school? Well, uh, this is my 39th year of teaching in the Hudson La Puna Unified School District. I taught five years at Los Altos and came to Wilson 1975, and I've been here 34 years. Uh, so I've obviously been in the district a long time. I was the varsity football coach for 20 years. I've been the athletic director since 1991. Uh, the stadium that we're standing in, uh, I was part of the committee to put it all together. A uh, personal friend of mine worked for Edison Company and, and uh, got us the light poles from the Edison Company, got us a hookup. Uh, we had Boosters Club and a lot of people donate money uh, and also the school district to put the stadium in. Uh, another friend of mine donated money and myself and my family and the football team actually in between practices built the press box behind us here. So obviously there's been a lot of work put into it and I want to just thank everybody for all their time and effort. Well Merrill, we thank you for helping out the school a lot. You're the man. Thank you, brother.
fun, baby. second in the league and we got into CIS. How did you guys do individually in the league finals? In individuals we placed first and second Woo! and as always got fourth. Yeah? Totally. That's cool. <laughs> How did the CIS team go? Um, our CIS team we tried our best but unfortunately we didn't make it past the first round. Oh well then, well, how about the CIS individuals? Um, CIS individuals are this Saturday in Arcadia at 8 o'clock. Yeah? How do you guys think you'll do? Um, we'll try our best. Hopefully we'll get past the first round. Wish us luck. Good luck. Thank you. So today, this is the problem that we're going to solve. It's the integral of 4 over 1 plus 9x squared dx. So, how do you start with them? Oh. How do you do that? Is that like a derivative or something? How do you do this? Yeah. Oh my god, okay, you can't figure out the equation. Should I do it in the water? Yes. Yeah. The Interact Club is starting a bottle and can recycling program. This will take place during lunchtime. Please turn in your unwanted trash to treasure that can save thousands of lives. The recycling location is on the side of the e building across from the food service. Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm here with Alex and Melody for the Interact Club. What is Interact Club and what do you guys do? Um, the Interact Club is a community service club and we help out local and global communities. And currently we're trying to help out kids with polio, so we're making life strong. And what are you guys doing right now? We're focusing on raising money for life straws. And life straws are devices that can filter out 99% of bacteria in water for people in countries who do not drink pure water and maybe their water is contaminated. Um, this can help them drink better water. Is there anything planned for the near future? 
Pretty soon we're going to be selling pretzels as a fundraiser so everyone can come buy them. Okay, thank you. This is where the contestants, the funny gladiators, see who can stay on the longest. And the worst wishes off, that guy is gold by. Students interested in joining a spring sport, there will be an information sign up day on Monday, December 8th during 6th period after school. If you plan to participate in baseball, softball, swimming, badminton, or track, please come to lunch shelter to sign up for your sport. On the sports front for this week, not much is happening, except for the boys' basketball scrimmage at 6 p.m. on Tuesday at the gym. Now let's take a look at how mock trial fair. Hi, I'm Ashley here with Tina Chen, part of Mock Trial. So, what's your position? I am a prosecution witness. Nice. Okay, well, how did your season go? I heard it just ended sadly. Well, we're all a little bummed about that. We did really well in our past two competitions. Prosecution team went up last Thursday, and we totally beat that all-boys Catholic school, Crispy Carmelot. Um, Best of luck to you guys next year. We, I know we worked really hard, and I guess it just wasn't enough to be, to be the top, top 16 out of the 75 schools. So good luck, and thank you, Mr. Baroni, for everything that you've done for us. Nice. Hi, I'm Stephanie Lee here with Alina from Mock Trial. Uh, so, Alina, what was your position? I was a defense witness named Riley Roberts. Oh, that's cool. So how was the whole experience? Well, it was really fun, and even though we didn't win, I mean, I'm still going to bring home a lot of memories from this. I loved it. Um, why should people join next year? Well, I think it really teaches a person a lot of things, not only when it comes to, you know, being a lawyer. I mean, there's just a lot of things you can take from this. Thank you. I'm here with Ms. Milan with information about the Camp Food Drive. This year there are two ways that you can participate in the Camp Food Drive. Um, one way is for community service hours and that is being run through CSF. You can take your cans to room G4 and see Ms. Alvarado. Or if you want to participate in homeroom points, just take the cans to your fourth period class and everyone gets one point per can. Okay, thank you. Hi, this is Ms. Alvarado. And Darren. And when is the camp food drive? The camp food drive is from now until Tuesday the 25th. Where are the camps selected? The camps can be brought here anytime by any student um, here at room G4. And what's your goal? Our goal is two to three hundred camps. So bring in all the camps you have. Okay, thank Thanks. you. <laughs> Our next video bulletin will be on December 8th as we have a short week this week. Gobble gobble. Have a great Thanksgiving and we'll see you in December. <laughs>